Well, this weekend, Monster Trucks return to the Glass City. It's called Monster Jam. It's a place where the big road warrior monster trucks will be smashing cars, vans, dinosaurs, anything in their way. But first, the crew there needs to transform the venue. Joe Rognoski is here with that story. And, Joe, it really takes a lot to get an arena ready for something like this. Yeah, they actually started literally Sunday night after the walleye finished its game with the Charlotte Checkers. And, Sean, they've done a really nice job booking events. You talked about the dinosaurs coming. Well, when the walleye are playing, they had Ario Speedwagon earlier, Rascal Flats, Elton John has also come to T-Town. But this week, it's all about the m -m 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 monster truck. Crews have already dropped off some of the cars and vans that will be part of it. this weekend's Monster Jam. Inside, they don't actually take the ice out, which I thought was interesting. They just put a floor cover over it so you can drive on it. Now, this, my friends, is a man by the name of Tom Stout. He's managing a crew working around the clock to get the arena ready. Today, they're basically just hauling plywood that will eventually go on top of the floor. Uh, the ice floor covering, we covered the ice yesterday. Today, we're bringing the plywood out from back in storage. We'll completely cover the floor in visqueen plastic, plywood over top of that, and then dump the dirt on top of that for the Monster Jam. So we've only melted the ice for one event since the arena opened up, since hockey started, and that was for the circus. Every other concert event we've had so far, the ice is underneath whatever's going on. Pretty cool, isn't it? They'll haul the dirt in on Thursday and then be ready to go when the doors open Friday night. The show, by the way, is scheduled for 7.30 Friday night. They'll have two shows on Saturday and then wrap things up on Sunday afternoon. Joe Rodinski, Fox Toledo News.